kind of a big face. Okay, so today we are going to be turning Dr. Phil into Slender Man. Big on my face. The first time you've seen it, okay? First. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. And this is the only microphone I have that works right now. So first, you want to take right over here by my face, the band-aid tool. And then you just want to get the small the small parts out first. So boom. Then watch for Dr. Phil. Kind of fix that line right there. Boom. See, boom. Face is perfectly large. That's the name of a faceless creature. Faceless. Has no face, no eyes, no nose, no nothing. Make sure you do it a couple of times. Make sure it blends in normally. Don't do it all at once because it pulls the pixels in around it. So, here I'll show you an example of not doing too much. See, it pulls the examples around. So now it has a little. Still has a nose here. Let's fix this mustache real fast. There we go. There we go. As you can see. All parts at a time. Always go for that mustache. You don't want to. Because then, you know, Slender Man doesn't have a mustache. Neither, does do neither should Dr. Phil. Not, neither does Dr. Phil here. Let's do a big old one for you guys. Okay. Sometimes it works. I guess I just got lucky there. Let's see the outlines here, make it a little bit more smooth. Slender Man doesn't has a face. Yes, we all know he has a face. Okay. We're gonna come back over here and zoom out. I hope you guys don't mind my face. <laughs> See? I gotta do is a few little touch ups right here. This. A little bit more natural. Boom. Get a faceless Dr. Phil. You might be wondering yourself hey, private no name. He's still got some hair. Well, to fix that, we're gonna have to zoom in a lot. I say a lot, but I don't even zoom in that much. Only 300%. Maybe the bandage tool again and get rid of the hair. But try to follow this line right here so we can have a nice normal shape head. And you don't want to go out to the bump where this ear is because we're going to end up erasing it anyway. By erasing it, I mean. Like in my dropper, selecting the white outside just to be safe, and the white is white. Just to be safe. That is not the same white. Of course. Picked the wrong one. That's because I have purple also selected. Ooh, white. Now let's try it. Yeah, that's the correct way. Well, like I was saying, you want to make sure you get a nice round head. Nothing too bumpy. Okay. I don't really care about the background. I'm gonna zoom out and shoot. That was my notifications. My bad. Yeah. See, you guys probably look, looking at the Star Wars stuff. Silent. My bad, guys. I'm just going back out here. Go to 100%. It's a bumpy thing. We can see. Alt Z this. Okay, and we're gonna come back here. Oh, we did that too much. There we go. Control Z. Control Z. 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 Okay. Now we're gonna grab our tool. Alright, see. We're gonna grab this. Wait a minute. I can work with this. I can work with this. Okay, let me cut this off for a minute. We just cut the whole head off. We should be. Focus aside, guys. Don't take me seriously right now. Okay, so I'm gonna. Get a rough edge. Of what we don't want. Combine. Smooth it out to the best of your ability. I'm getting off camera, aren't I? Okay. And then over here, all you gotta do is live with the hair a little bit. So you wanna like come out of the distance. Don't remove any of the skin. After that, you pretty much are almost done. Get rid of any excess layers you see. And if it gets bumpy, just smooth it out. And that was too smooth. <laughs> Okay, let's the curve. 
And then next, what you want to do is, um, my head's covering it, but you want to click Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. You want to wait for this thing. You want to make sure you go, okay, no, okay. I forgot step. Before you do that, you want to get your quick selection tool here and select the whole head. Then click image, adjustments, hue and saturation, click colorize, and drop the saturation to gray. Bring up the lightness, but not too light. So he has a complete white head like that. We're not done yet though. We're almost done. Next, you want to make sure you select his tie. Go to image again, adjustment, you and saturation. Let's call it again because you know Spider-Man has a red tie. There we go. There we go. Okay. Control D to deselect. Now you have Dr. Phyllis Linderman. I hope this is a good tutorial because I sure enjoyed it.